What's up everyone, Arctic here, bringing you guys the rundown on Warframe, a free-to-play, four-player co-op, third-person shooter slash action RPG. I've actually had quite a bit of time with this game. I played it when it was in closed beta. It's currently in open beta on Steam. It's for the PC. Uh, if anyone has played it, it's been picking up a lot of <laughs> Steam, so to speak, on the Steam platform just based off of the nature of four-player co-op. The game is really fun. It's made by Digital Extremes, and the setting takes place in our solar system. So you play as this galactic warrior group of super elite badasses called the Tenno uh, in their Warframes, and you must stop, a, I think, a galactic takeover from the Grenier. Uh, the Grenier are pretty much uh, very similar to the Krogan, I think, race from Mass Effect. I, I guess that's the best comparison I could give them. They have thick armor, uh, they're kind of bulky, and uh, yeah, you, you just basically shoot them dead. Uh, your missions are instanced. Uh, the gameplay kind of reminds me of a cross between Fantasy Star Online meets Mass Effect meets Dark Sector with a sprinkle of Borderlands, and it's probably those mesh of games done well uh, is what makes it so popular as of right now. I mentioned that you play as the Warframes. I currently am playing as the Warframe Excalibur, which is pretty much the basic unit, pretty well rounded, and all of them have pretty wicked uh, abilities. Controls are pretty good. They're not outstanding. Uh, some of what makes it a little choppy is the camera angles particularly when you are meleeing with, uh, in this case, your sword. Sometimes uh, it's a little messed up and you kind of guess wrong based off of uh, where your camera is and the position and the timing of your swipes. But as you play, you gradually understand how it works a little bit more. But for a new user, I think you'll find the meleeing system a little clunky. Uh, shooting feels pretty solid for third person action hybrid. I'm typically not a fan of uh, shooters that also integrate meleeing systems like this uh, because typically one or the other pretty much slacks. They're both done pretty well. Uh, again, good, not great in this game. Uh, and you also have access to special abilities for your Warframe. I think I currently have two or four abilities equipped to my Warframe, again, Excalibur, which you guys can see right here. Uh, it's a slash dash and a blind. Uh, he also has a super jump and uh, like this AOE attack, which I th believe it's called like javelin or something like that. Um, the AI could be a little bit better, but I think it scales based off of level difficulty. Uh, so far, everything seems pretty manageable, but if you want to take uh, your tactics, uh, basic MMO tactics, you grab your enemy, pull your enemy, bait them out to an area, and then you can just lay them to waste, which is what I did. Whenever you run solo, that's what I would recommend doing. It might take a little bit longer, but you can basically get through every single level so far uh, from what I'm playing without dying. Um, now, again, this game is free to play. They do make, they have to make money. Digital Extremes has a marketplace, and uh, basically you can buy weapons, you can buy new frames, um, they use two sets of currencies. They have their in-game currency or credits, and then they have another uh, currency that it can be spent on various things like, again, the frames and whatnot, and that depletes. And when, when that depletes, you'll want to refill that. So that's your basic um, monetization route uh, in this game. I mentioned the crafting. You can craft things from your Warframe, uh, again, with your abilities through fusion things and making your abilities stronger to the weapons that you have. Uh, to the very customizable look of your uh, Warframe. Uh, so, I mean, all in all, this is an excellent game. Again, I, I mentioned what I feel like it's a cross between like Mass Effect, Dark Sector, Borderlands, Fantasy Star Online, and it does it pretty well. There's also some really cool uh, movement abilities that you guys uh, can do when you're in game, wall running, uh, jumping up straight on walls, and then back flipping off of them. So there's a bunch of really cool things that they have mixed in there. I think a lot of guys would like it if you uh, care for the co-op experience. Get some buddies together and hop on this game. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, make sure to check out some of my gameplays. And I will catch you guys later. Peace.